Hello, we're here with our beekeeping group uh, in very interesting apiary, specifically for educational purposes. Uh, and we have lovely, calm bees that interact frequently with the wild bee population. There's a big wild bee population in this area, beautiful fields outside. Look at these girls, they look so happy. Super clean, they're really content, and they're tended by uh, students from nearby. Hey, I'm one of the founders of Sustainable Beekeeping Trust in Israel uh, that we founded two years ago. And uh, we are uh, here today in Neve Shalom, uh, next to the Latun uh, Monastery. Uh, and today we're learning about uh, beekeeping that uh, can be done uh, without any treatments and uh, beekeeping uh, on a natural way. We've seen different uh, kind of hives today uh, in Neve Shalom and there is a grant project uh, which is uh, uh, being run by uh, Zeeb. Um, and he is running this with uh, one of the people of the territories and they have a very very good uh, communication together. Uh, they are trying to promote natural beekeeping in Israel and also in the territories and uh, their work is fantastic uh, educational for all kinds of uh, students uh, of the ages uh, between 9 and 13. Um, and it's great to meet you all. Uh, you can see our members who are joining us today uh, for this uh, trip to Neve Shalom and uh, I hope uh, you will read about us. We have uh, um, we can send you the www.beekeeping.org IL and you can see all of our activities on this site. Hello, I'm Ziv El Yashiv uh, from Tel Aviv, Israel and we are here in uh, Neve Shalom, Oasis of Peace village uh, in the central of uh, the country and what we are doing here is a bi-national natural apiary where we, we nurture uh, honeybees uh, along with the bilingual uh, elementary school students of the village as this village uh, uh, is inhabited by both Arab and Jewish people that uh, are promoting um, coexistence and um, uh, living together as uh, one big community uh, in order to uh, promote their values and hope for a better future for both of the nations in Israel. So we're using the beekeeping as a tool, as a mean to convey these matches to students and to other people among Israel. What's special about your beekeeping techniques here? You mentioned in the talks uh, several of the things that you do that are uh, exceptional, that aren't industrial. Yes, yeah, so first of all, uh, we're taking care of the welfare of the bees and by letting them grow um, as close as possible to their uh, natural dispositions, uh, meaning um, we are uh, minimizing uh, the times we are opening, we inspect the, hive, the hives, and um, we are letting them build uh, natural raw combs uh, without putting uh, wax foundations. And we are not uh, doing any sugar feeding, we just let them get the nectar and pollen from nature and bring it back to the hive and we minimize the honey uh, harvesting that we are doing along with planting more and more trees that are abundant with the uh, uh, pollen and nectar. And you mentioned also you were very uh, cautious about taking care of varroa. Yes, so um, we, are, we do treat uh, varroa but we do treat with natural substances uh, like uh, plants that are abundant with the uh, timol which is an active substance that really helps with the, uh, destroying the varroa. Um, however, uh, we are minimizing the times that we are doing the, the treatment and uh, hopefully letting the bees handle the varroa by themselves in the future.